the Beach FM Business Lunch Show, brought to you by Placemakers, Kapiti and Horofenua. Together, we're building New Zealand. Welcome back to the Business Lunch Show on Beach FM 106.3 with Damien on your Thursday afternoon. Let's welcome in another local business that is killing it right now. Well, it appears to be anyway from what I see. So let's get the source and, well, not source, let's get the drink from... Beck K from Korko. Good day, Beck. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. How are you doing at this time? Good, thank you. Good. Good, good. Now, previously, you're pretty known as uh, Korko Limoncello, but it's not just Limoncello what you do these days. So, what we like to do first and foremost on the show, Beck, is just to get to know our people a bit. In your own words, how did you start out and how did, uh, um, you know, a bit of history about yourself? Um, so uh, probably about almost two and a half years ago, we um, we decided we needed a lifestyle change. Um, I'm an operating theatre nurse and my husband um, worked for various other companies. Um, we didn't get to see each other. We were always in the car commuting. So um, we decided to purchase um, Coast Limoncello from um, Ingrid and Brian Shu. And we'd never made Limoncello before. So it was a good steep learning curve. And um, here we are, two and a half years later, we now make... Um, five different liqueurs and gin and vodka. Yes, you do. Yes, you yeah. do. So um, tell us about those early learnings. You go from uh, a theatre theatre nurse to um, to running your own business and something that you don't know. Yeah. So um, luckily my husband knows all about business. So oh, that was cool. um, So he quit his job first um, right. and sort of started that ball rolling. Um, I kept working just in case we needed the money, which we did. And... Um, as all small businesses do. And then um, we got um, really, really busy, and which is awesome, and decided to make gin and vodka at the same time. And, um, yeah, lots of research, lots of reading books, lots of talking to people, um, and just really tinkering with recipes and things like that and just getting it right and making sure that we're providing a really, really good pro- um, quality product. Thanks. So um, probably about eight months ago, I started full-time as well. So that was a really scary, scary transition, but... um. Oh, good. Excellent. Well, we we've um, we've talked this week that you know fifty percent of of people new businesses in the first couple of years you know they they struggle. But you you seem to be going from strength to strength to from adding from starting with one to adding the other products in there. Yeah, it's um it's been really really exciting and um and surprising. We you know we know it's going to be hard. Um, we've had small businesses before and. You know, it's really hard work and um, there's huge risks. Um, but I think, you know, you have to take those risks and just go with it and see what happens. And we kind of decided if it all um, all went pear-shaped, then we'd have lots of um, lots of liqueurs to drink. So. <laughs> yes, you would. Those, <laughs> those early days when you kept the job, were you basically working for, uh, two full jobs? Yeah, we were, yeah. So um, I was um, working full-time in Wellington and then also coming back um, during the evening and bottling and then also um, in the weekends as well. So, wow. yeah. Not not much not much sleep, but it's, no. you know, it's okay. <laughs> no, but with the grind comes the payoff, and uh, you're still here doing doing wonders. So tell us a bit yeah. about your products. Um, so we um we handcraft everything, do everything by hand, just the two of us. So um, yeah, we um use all our New Zealand produce, which is awesome. So we um get to know the growers of the lemons and the oranges and all of that sort of stuff. So we make um. We make a, lim- uh, a limoncello, which is a traditional limoncello, um, and the fruit comes from Gisborne. Um, also an orange cello, which is the same as a limoncello, but an orange liqueur. Um, we make a lemon cream, um, which is just a creamier version of the of the traditional limoncello, but nice in the winter time in front of the fire. Um, and we started working with Greytown Honey, um, which is another little family business um, in Greytown, um, who are amazing people. They um, make beautiful um, award-winning manuka honey so we um we started making a manuka um lemon cello so we call it the honey cello wow. so that's our little specialty this is it. that's my husband's little baby that one nice yeah. nice excellent well i mean that, that that's awesome that you guys have been creating new things now i mean covid was a was a it was a strange time for a lot of people. A lot of people adapted. A lot of people took the time to you know reassess and 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 refresh themselves. And and I can imagine with people like yourselves, you would have been creating in 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 the in the lab over that time. Yeah, it was um it was an interesting time. We um as we sort of started feeling that the government was going to lock everything down, we um 
you know, opened a gin and um, had a gin and tonic and sat around and sort of discussed what we were going to do. And um, because there's just the two of us, it's just a close family unit, so we could always keep working. Yeah. Um, the fear was that um, for us that the um, government might um, stop online liquor sales. So we thought, well, you know, so what are we going to do in the meantime? Um, so we um, we decided after conversations with local fruit growers and vegetable growers in the Horofenua that we would start making hand sanitizer. Um, it wasn't our thing that we really wanted to do, but with my um, health background as well, so we started to do that. So that kept us really busy. Um, so all of our little um, projects that we had listed that we were going to do and make new gins and things like that went out the window. So <laughs> we'll get there one day. <laughs> Well, gin would have been an expensive hand sanitizer, but um, that's a, that's a that's a great a, 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 um, pivot there, where especially utilising your background. Yeah, um, we were really really lucky. Um, we um, had people contact us, so um, we took that risk of um, buying all the um, the ingredients, which was um, was pretty expensive. So um, you know, it was a, it was a big risk for us. Um, but also having worked with procurement and, and the hospital was a new. We sort of we had an idea of what sort of thing we needed on labels and yeah. and how we needed to um, you know what we needed to get tested and things like that. So um, yeah, it worked out really well. We, we were very very lucky indeed. Is that something you'll continue to do or go back to business as usual now? Um, so we've still got a bit of ingredients. We're just doing a um, fill your own um, hand sanitizer right. for people that, you know, when they run out so they can bring their empty bottles in and oh, fill cool. it from our tank. Yep. Um, we, um, because we were selling it only in 10 and 20 litre containers because we, we knew quite quickly that the supply of small containers would dry up from overseas. Yep. So we didn't want to risk that. So, um, yeah, and all the growers and, um, and the hospitals already had their own empty containers. So it was a good um, waste reduction thing as well. Outstanding. Hey, um, you've you've brought up online presence. You've brought up, uh, you know, you're working with co- co- local, working with community. Now I've got to talk to you about your um, your website because I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> how you scroll down the screen and and your your bottle on the right um, stays there, but it changes and it fills up with it with what you're reading on the page. I think it's outstanding. And you said someone local did it. Yeah, so we um we got um we got Ross from Leverage Design. He designed our um our core core website, and um so yeah, it was pretty cool when he showed that to us. I was pretty excited, and um it kind of messes with your eyes a little bit, but um it's kind of neat. <laughs> I did have to double check, but I'm glad I did. And yeah, it was like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> so did you see how how did you see business um bounce or or anything with the online um with you putting a bit of focus on the online? Yeah, so online sales um, is usually sort of only 5% of our business, but um, like many others, we lost to pretty much 95% of our business overnight. Um, yep. All our bottle shops and bars and um, all the shows stopped. Um, so our online business um, just went crazy, which um, for us was amazing. Um, you know, it would, it would take me half the day to pack all our orders every day, which, um, but, you know, so exciting. You know, yep. um, we got to keep our um, local career guy um, in business as well, and nice. so that was really nice. And, um, and really, really um, exciting to see the generosity of other people um, buying gin for their neighbours and friends and family. And it was just really, it was really cool. Amazing. <laughs> so, Amazing. Yeah. So where to next for Core Core? Uh, have you got other creations up your sleeve? Uh, how, how, how big do you want to take it? Oh, we want a we want a world domination would be of good. Of course. No. <laughs> um, but no, um, so we've we've been working on a uh, business civil orange gin for a wee while now. We found a lovely lady um, up in Northland who um, grows um, business civil oranges. Oh. So, um, so she sent us down a hundred kilos, and we've been working on that, but we haven't quite got there yet. So, um, Chris and I might have to have another competition to see who receives the best. So, <laughs> like we did with our kawa kawa gin. So. Awesome. Will, be, um, will be interesting. Our friends and family will have to be taste testers for us. Oh, I'm sure. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'd hate that. <laughs> well, mate, Beck, I, I've loved talking to you today. Thank you so much for um, taking the time to share the story of you guys. Lastly, what we like to do is where can we find you? Where where are all the details? Yeah, so um, you can buy online. Um, with, uh, it's um, korkora.nz. So that's K O A K O A dot N Z. Um, so we have um, online shopping on there, um, or you can pop in and see us. We have a little um, factory shop um, in Three C McGrath, um, McGrath Avenue in Paraparaumu Beach. 
Um, so we're open from about 8.30 to 2.45 every day on Monday to Friday. Fantastic. Beck from Core cool. Core. It's today for happiness. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll come in and see you soon and, and uh, taste the goods myself. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time.